Welcome to Pastor's Chat today. We're continuing to look at Psalm 68, a psalm of praise, bringing glory to God because He is a God of victory. He is a God who comes to us. He is a God who marches before us. And that's what we're looking at right now as we look at these middle verses, verses 7 through 19. And we already have read down through verse 10, but let's pick up where we left off yesterday in verse 10 and 11. Your congregation dwelt in it. You, O oh God, provided from your goodness for the poor. And this just reminds us as the people of Israel were brought up out of Egypt and God protected them, God went before them. The Shekinah glory cloud of God was their victory in the midst of their presence, in the midst of their camp. God then brought them into the Holy Land. He confirmed their inheritance when it was weary. He, through Joshua, brought them in to conquer the many, many kings of the land of uh, of the land of Canaan, and also the big mighty king Sion, king of uh, Heshbon, and and uh, Bashan, the king of Og. All these kings, even in the Moab, the Jordan side, God conquered these kings, and that's what He speaks about. The Lord gave the word. Great was the company of those who proclaimed it. When God speaks, things happen. Oh, I love the voice of God. God spoke the world into existence. God still speaks today in so many ways. He speaks to our hearts through His Holy Spirit, through the still, small voice of the Spirit. Elijah heard that God loved him. God had a plan and purpose still for his life, even after a great victory, even after after his depression, God was speaking. The Lord gave the word. And when God speaks, mighty awesome things take place. And so when God speaks, the great company proclaimed it. And what did they proclaim? Kings of the armies, they flee. And she who remains at home divides the spoil. Though you lie among the sheepfolds, you'll be like the wings of a dove covered with silver, her feathers with yellow gold. And what he speaks about here is the fact that when God spoke, the kings of armies, the enemy armies, and they were mighty. They were everywhere. They were armies of giants that lived in the land, remember? And God spoke, and they fled before God. Listen, more than we need our arms of war, we need our military, we need our uh, airplanes, our, our fighter airplanes, more than we need our weapons, we need God. We need His Word. And when He speaks, and He speaks to us, and we obey Him and live for Him, God can take care of the enemies of America. God can take care of anyone and everyone who wants to harm His church. The church is His mighty army today upon the earth. And He's the one that goes before us. He confirms us, and He takes us from lying among the sheepfolds. We're like poor shepherds just taking care of poor old sheep out in the fields and he takes us from lying among the sheep folks and he covers us how like the wings of a dove covered with silver and feathers with yellow gold we go from being a poor uh, weak people to a rich people living in the palaces of God not that this is a message of prosperity but it's a message when you put God first he takes care of you when the Almighty scattered kings in it, it was white as snow in Solomon. A mountain of God is the mountain of Bashan. A mountain of many peaks is the mountain of Bashan. Why do you fume with envy, you mountains of many peaks? This is the mountain which God desires to dwell in. Yes, the Lord will dwell in it forever. The chariots of God are 20,000, even thousands of thousands. The Lord is among them as in Sinai in the holy place. You have ascended on high. You've led captivity captive. You've received gifts among men, even from the rebellious, that the Lord God might dwell there. Oh, there are many mountains of Bashan, maybe like the mountain of Mount Hermon with the snow on it and the snowstorms as they would come. It, just the same way God scattered the kings of the armies, but also He is the Lord of hosts. He has the armies of heaven behind Him. He goes before His people. He gives them vacation 
great victory and he leads them to victory and he leads captivity captive. A verse that's quoted in the book of Ephesians chapter 4 when God ascended. Speaking of his resurrection, what a mighty and awesome God we have. He is victorious. You can trust him today and may the Lord help us to do it even right now. God bless and you have a wonderful, wonderful day.